All right, well, welcome to another session of Algebra 1. Uh, today we're going to be solving systems of equations by substitution. And uh, let's start with something that, that we did uh, probably in pre-algebra we started doing this. Uh, you see down here, um, I tell you that x is equal to 4, and I don't want to know what 3x plus 5 is. Well, you know, that's, that's no problem. You can just know that we would put 4 in for x down here. We'd substitute that in, right? So you'd have 3 times 4 plus 5, and that's going to be 3 times 4 will be 12, plus 5 is going to be 17, right? We can do that, no problem. We don't even have to think about that. Now, let's put that into this. we got a system of equations over here. y equals 6x, and 2x plus 3y equals negative 20. Now, first of all, let's review why we can't solve either one of these equations like they are, and that reason is because there's more than one variable. Um, and if there's more than one variable, we can't solve it. So what we have to do is we have to get rid of one of those letters. Well, um, here's what I know. If I look at that top equation, I know that y is equal to 6x, or I could say y is the same thing as 6x. So just like over here when we knew that x was equal to 4, we put that in for, we put 4 in for x. I know that y is the same thing as 6x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute 6x and for y in this second equation. So let's see what happens if we do that. So I've got 2x plus 3 times, I'm not going to use y this time, I'm going to say 6x is equal to negative 20. Okay, so let's see, this is going to be 2x plus 18x equals negative 20. Well, this is not too bad. 20x is equal to negative 20. Divide by 20, and I get x equals negative 1, okay? So that first part was pretty easy. Now I need to substitute. Now I know x is negative 1. Let's look back at this first equation, the one that I'd highlighted. And since I know that x is negative 1, if I put negative 1 in for x right there, I see 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, so y is equal to negative 6. So my answer is going to be negative 1 negative 6. Okay, let's come over and what if I do number 2? All right, number 2. Um, sorry about that, just a second. Number 2, I see that x is equal to 3y, so I'm going to put 3y in for x in this second equation. Okay, so let's see what happens when I do that. I've got two or three times not x, but my x is now going to be 3y minus 5y is equal to 12. Okay, well, that's going to be 9y <clears throat> minus 5y is equal to 12. 9 minus 5 is 4y is equal to 12. Divide by 4, y is equal to 3. So now I'll take 3 and sub it back in for y in that top equation. 3 times 3 is going to be 9. So my answer is going to be 9. Whoops, I'm sorry, I didn't write that very well. My answer is going to be 9, 3. Okay, well that's not bad at all. Let's get, let's get a little bit more difficult with this though. Okay, let's look at this one. I've got y equals 2x plus 6, and 2x minus y is equal to 2. Okay, well, I know that y is the same thing as 2x plus 6, so I'm going to substitute that into this second equation for y. So I've got 2x minus, I'm not going to use y this time, I'm going to use 2x plus 6 is equal to 2. Okay, well, this is like a negative 1 right there, right? So we've got the distributive property here. 2x, and then negative 1 times 2x is going to be a negative 2x. Negative 1 times 6 is going to be a negative 6, and I have 2. Okay. Now let's simplify this. 2x minus 2x is going to be 0x minus 6 is equal to 2. Okay. Maybe see something here, but let's keep working this. Add 6 to both sides, 0x is equal to 8, 
Now from here, again, maybe you see something, but maybe I'll divide both sides by zero. And if you do that, I've got a problem because I can't divide a number by zero. Eight divided by zero is undefined. There's no, there's no answer for that. So this one is going to be no solutions. Now, typically what's going to happen is you're going to work that all through. Um, and about right here, you'd have a different number for X. It wouldn't be a zero X and you could actually solve this and sub it back in. Okay. But you see with this one, we have to put this in, in the bottom for Y, and then we have to distribute it. Okay. Now there's one more that kind of causes people problems. This one, I had trouble with this one in, when I was in high school. It's, it's kind of hard to see until you actually see it, then it's really, really easy. If I look at the top equation, I know X is the same thing as 2Y plus 7, right? So I'm going to take 2Y plus 7 and sub it in for X in the second equation, okay? So instead of writing X, I'm just going to write 2, 2Y plus 7 is equal to Y plus 4. And if you see this, no problem here. Let's take letters left, numbers right, minus y to both sides. So 2y minus 1y is just y plus 7 is equal to 4. Subtract 7 from both sides, and you get y equals negative 3. Okay? Now, choose any one of those equations that you like at the top. I like this second one much better. That looks really easy for me to solve. If I put negative 3 in for y... I've got negative 3 plus 4, which is equal to a positive 1. So that's what my x equals. So my answer is 1, negative 3. That is how you solve a system of equations by substitution. Good luck.